Good morning, good morning, dear friends. Dear friends, a big hello from Tiziano. I am Lydia Torre, the creator of Detective Pro, the program that helps you automate your detective agency. This first tutorial is a very narrow and non-specific tutorial, shall we say? This is just a smattering of information. This is just an overview of what Detective Probe can do for you and your detective agency. So let's immediately analyze a little bit all the parts very quickly. As I said before, this is the first screen where you find yourself. And when you enter Detective Pro, it allows me to underline that this is not my main account. That is, it is not the one I use, but it is a fictitious account where, for example, the name Falcon SRL is a fictitious name of the agency. It is not my agency, but obviously for privacy reasons, I cannot show you obviously what my main account is because obviously there are the names of the clients and all their references. So this is all a fictitious situation, including the customers that are entered, but the estimates made, so they are absolutely fictitious estimates, let's say, but they give you an idea of how Tech Review Pro works. All right, so having said that, we are on the main page in the dashboard. So you will see this dashboard where you will see the amount of customers you have, how much you have essentially earned, how many customers you have, the survey started in progress, concluded, the activities carried out, then we will go into detail on what are the activities carried out, the estimates, and so on. Anyway, this is the first screen you will find yourself on. Below here on the left menu under Dashboard, you will find quotes, clients, surveys, and profile and subscriptions. Subscriptions is used to change your subscription status from monthly, quarterly, half yearly, annual, support, terms and conditions, news and FAQ, so frequently asked questions, where I will insert what is new on Detective Pro, some questions that may be of interest. Privacy policy. Very good. So let's go for a moment before going to the quotes. Let's go to our profile, which is the main thing to do when you sign up to Detective Pro. So update your profile. Here, as I say, we will do it very quickly, but here it will change. You can change the logo change the logo of your agency, the name of the agency. So here is the personal information, the information about what the agency is. So your name, billing code, address, etc. The banking information that will then be reported on the estimates, the digital signature. In reality, it is not the digital signature, but the digital calligraphic signature. So a similar signature of yours that we can go and change, you can create it, how to do it. It is also written in the news and faces if necessary. The agency costs. Each agency obviously has its own price list, both from the kilometers and the hourly cost and from all its things. So here in Detective Pro, you will insert those that are yours, your agency price list. In this case, I entered 0 0.75 cents per kilometer. Hourly cost 60 euros per investigator. Cost of the report, for example, cost of GPS rental and so on. There is also a night holiday surplus here, which is very important in my opinion, because we can put a 20, a 30%, a 15%, a 10% based on what we believe. Let's suppose that day where a surplus must be put, for example, I know Christmas, New Year's Eve, Easter, the night hours, so on. Automatically, Detective Pro completely automatically will insert an extra 20%, an extra 15% where you want it. Then I will show you where in subsequent videos. It's fine anyway. So let's go back to our dashboard. Let's go to estimates. Here is the section regarding estimates. So we can go and create our estimate. Simply create quote name, surname, and let's start creating the quote. In this case, I already have a Paolo Smith with a fictitious name where I created an estimate. So here I have my estimate creation date. I can go and delete it if necessary. And I can obviously go and modify it to see it. Paolo Smith is a person, so if it was a company, I have to click here. I will have the Eve game and other things related to the company. But in this case, it is not a company. The reasons for the investigation, I did the classic investigation, alleged infidelity, marital, I can write whatever I want, 
obviously here in this case, I made a mistake also because an accent would be needed, but it's okay. I can simply enter the number of agents employed, two, three, the estimated hours, six, the operating days, seven. Detective Pro will automatically change all this data. So the total plus the advance payment is the advance and the amount of the payments I can request, for example, 30%. And as an advance payment, I can estimate whether the estimate has been sent, accepted, or rejected. Automatically, I will have my estimate below. Therefore, with my motivation, with the professional rate, with the number of agents employed, the daily hours, the estimated hours, the estimated days, which are seven in this case, the deposit, which we said 30%, Therefore, here there will already be the deposit that you will want to request from your client, the total of the estimate and nothing. Here are your bank details. So you can eventually send it by email directly or download it, print it and give it directly to the customer who comes to visit you in the agency and who wants to contact you for an investigation. Very good. As I said, I'm not going to go into too much detail on all the sections because I will be doing separate sections. This, as I said, is a short presentation. Let's go to the customer's side. Here I always have my client called Paolo Smith. I can add, of course, the customer, another customer. I go to Paolo Smith's profile, so I have the client's information. I have the investigations assigned to him, let's say. So for Paolo Smith, I have this type of investigation because I could have several, maybe let's say it's a company that commissions us several investigations. Then I can have three, four, five, ten investigations referring only to this company. In this case, Paolo Smith is a single person, so let's go. There is only one investigation which has not started. Then I can flag whether it is in progress or concluded and I insert his investigation card. Survey sheet, as I said, let's do something very quick. Information on the investigation. So here I have what Paolo Smith wants from our agency, the status of the investigation, if it is ongoing, concluded, started, etc. the reasons for the investigation, the estimated cost, the current economic status of the investigation, that is what we have done, and the investigation memos. Investigation memos are all those things that our client communicates to us for the purpose of the investigation. Here we have the conclusion of the investigation, which I will tell you about later, but it will be what will then be reported in the final report by the agency. The photos that the customer provided us, as you can see here, he provided us with the photo of his wife and the photo of the car. We can insert other photos according to what the client gives us or notes. And so we have our survey sheet. This is very nice because we have our investigation under our control and we can print our sheet, give it to our collaborators too. In the future, there will be the part related to the collaborators. So this sheet will go directly to our collaborators without all those situations that our collaborators must not see substantially. So the economic part and other delicate parts. However, this is already in the pipeline. Very good. So I can obviously eliminate the investigation. Once the investigation is concluded, I don't see why we have to keep it. So even respecting what the legislation is, we can eliminate the investigation and move on to the activity. Before the activity, I want to show you the payments. Then we can, for our Lord Paulo Smith, add a payment if he gives us a bank transfer. And let's say 1,000 euros on day two, received yes, our notes, and save the payment, obviously. I can safely go and cancel the payment, and then we have the financial situation under control. Then we get to the heart of what Detective Pro is all about. The activities. What are activities? Activities are all the situations, everything we do during the investigation day by day. So everything that we do and everything that our collaborators do will be entered here because automatically this allows me to underline because this is the magic of Detective Pro. Automatically from this insertion of this information, 
the final report for the client and our expense report will be drawn up completely automatically. So without having to think about putting together the report with Word, with the photos, with the nights, et cetera, et cetera, without having to think about doing our calculations, how much the hours things know. That said, the pro does everything absolutely automatically. And this is for me, the extraordinary strength of Detective Pro. And this is what essentially frees up our time, frees us from our stress, makes our collaborators easier, makes our secretaries easier because Detective Pro does everything automatically. Furthermore, I would like to underline this thing here, which in my opinion is also very important. If we have several agencies located, therefore some branches using Detective Pro, each one will work on his own investigation, let's say, and all the information will then be centralized for a final inspection. But the part, the structure of what is the investigation of the drafting and of the expense reports will already be automatically done. Well, let's go and see. Here we have the investigation of the infidelities of Paolo Smith, the recorded activity one, which means that we have done a day, basically an investigative activity, recorded expenses for. What are recorded expenses? The expenses are the parking, the hotel, all the expenses related to the investigative situation that we will see later. The agents involved are three or two or one, it depends of kilometers traveled, how many kilometers were traveled during the investigation day, the total costs of the day. Perfect. So I can go here. We will obviously go here. It's a fantasy thing. So I put the operations like this at 9, at 10, at 12, 30, et cetera, et cetera, the photos attached. So here the situation is basically that we followed the lady. We checked a bit of everything. We inserted that they met in a shopping center at the bar, that they then went to the restaurant and that then she left and went home. Basically, we put the four, five, six, eight photos that are the core of the investigative day. Obviously, we don't put 100. It's not necessary. We put those that are to, so to speak, justify our investigation and then on our report because they will be printed on our report. They justify everything and make the report complete. All right, so these are obviously, I can put them, I can go and modify them both the times. I can modify the investigators, the kilometers traveled. I can include the 20% or 30% increase, which is what I was saying before about the surplus. I can change expenses, add them. I can go and add any expense that interests me. I can add more photos, change or delete photos, then automatically the whole situation updates. Very well, I can obviously add another activity. So the next day I will go and do another activity. But as I said, I don't want to go further, even if I would be tempted. But I want to do some step-by-step -step tutorials. This, as I said, is an overview. Great, once you've done everything automatically, in my opinion, this is the magic of Detective Pro. It's all finished, it's all done. How is it all done? So I go to the report. You see there are two flags, investigative report, expense report. So our investigative report is ready, done, finished. So we will have our letterhead, our agency, the investigative report with our date to the principal, the reason for the investigation, what the client asked us, everything that was done during the day, the photographs of the day, and the conclusion of the investigation according to what we want to put which will automatically be already done or leave it. It is not the owner of the agency, our agency wording, our signature in digital and calligraphic format. Obviously, after we will deliver it, we will normally sign it by hand. We can download it, archive it on the computer, always within the terms of the law, obviously print it, give it to the client. Then we print it, give it to the customer, put our nice signature on it, and that's it. Or send it by email. Well, sending it by email seems excessive to me, given what the relationship is. 
Also, for reasons of privacy and correctness, I don't think it's appropriate to send it by email, but everyone can do what they want. Very good. And it's over. Concluded, stop. But there's more. There's more. Repo spence, that is. We've concluded all our investigations. We've done everything. We have to get paid. All right, repo spazy, let's click here. It updates in a moment. Perfect. Then repo spies, our repo spies is done, our repo spies. So we have all the header of our agency, the summary of the investigative expenses, the date, our principal, the list of expenses. So how many investigators were involved, how many hours we did, the cost of the hours, the cost of the kilometers traveled, other expenses that we had in this case, two parking lots, a restaurant, a target inspection. Here there will be the other expenses. Total 5, 60, and 50 included. Total VATO 6, 30, 13. Agency owner, our signature. We can download it, give it to our client as always, or send it by email. This is also good, as I said before, if the client at some point asks us, but how are we doing in the investigations? We open Detective Pro. We look at repo expenses, track, one click, send pre-email. We have already sent everything. It's all done already. So for this brief excursus of the system, I would say we are done. I'm going to make some more detailed section by section videos to help you understand some things. What else can I tell you? I am extremely convinced that Detective Pro is truly an absolutely valid tool for what concerns the detective agency. The cost is relatively low. You have to think of it as a work tool. So like a camera, like a GPS, like other situations, it is a work tool that makes your work easier. It makes the automation of your detective agency of your work easier. It certainly frees you from stress. It certainly frees you from time and nothing. I basically hope that you will want to use Detective Pro. Be happy above all with the use of Detective Pro. I am there and I have many ideas to develop it further. Obviously, Detective Pro has a cost, both on the development, both on what has been done, both on the monthly maintenance, month after month, because obviously you have to think about the servers and other things, the management of the programmers and other things. So I need feedback from you and to create a community of agencies and investigators who want to use Detective Pro and are happy with it. I definitely need your feedback and what you would like to have on Detective Pro. In order to make it more and more an interesting tool for the investigation agency, a tool that the investigation agency needs, but it needs it not so much because it is like this, but because it really helps the investigation agency. It helps our collaborators. It helps our secretaries. It helps what is the automation of our investigation agency. I say goodbye. I refer you to the other video tutorials, which, as I said, will be segmented piece by piece also to clarify some things, some tidbits. And then I will also make some videos on the subsequent developments of Detective Pro. I hope you enjoyed it and thank you. Hello, everyone, and welcome to you.